What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to do a comparison of the Fans Toy Soar with the Gigapower Good Enter, both versions of a Masterpiece Swoop. So, both of these figures are a couple years old. The Fans Toys is from 2014, quite some time ago. I believe the Good Enter is from 2019 or 2018. Uh, but it's been reissued just recently. There are rumors that this might get reissued, but we're not sure yet. We'll find out. Either way, um, both of these guys are, um, you know, kind of hard to find right now. They are pretty expensive, but this guy just got reissued, so you may be able to find him. As I always mention with these comparisons, I try to be as objective as possible in the categories that I'm judging them, but of course there's subjectivity involved, in my opinion. So if I don't pick the one that you like, then you win. You get the one that you win. I make these videos to help people make a decision on which direction they want to go, which set they want to buy. Um, there are some, of course, issues with trying to get a hold of this guy at its current price. But with that being said, let's get into the review and we'll start off with accessories. So here are all the accessories you get. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. Uh, before we get started though, I just wanted to mention the face that I have on Swoop is not the original face. This is the face it came with. It actually has two faces on it, it just rotates. And it wasn't very good, so Fans Toys gave you a replacement with their grinder, their version of Grimlock. So this isn't an accessory that's included here, I just wanted to mention that. They also gave you these replacement metal pieces for his legs because the plastic pieces tend to break. Um, but they're not part of this, so I just wanted to mention that those were additional accessories we got later. So now let's go over these. So first off, they both come with swords. Now, the Giga Power comes with two, so we're going to leave that in the mix. They both come with two sets of guns. The Giga Power is painted. The Fans Toys is unpainted, although I don't know if the metallic version is painted. When we get to paint, we'll talk about that, but two guns each. They both come with an alternate translucent beak for the robot uh, dynamo head, but you can see that the Giga Power gives you actually a more complete head. They actually give you an alternate neck too, although I can't get this in here, but they both come with that. And then here's kind of what you're left with. They both come with a stand, and the, uh, to be fair, the ver the Giga Power version does come with this adapter, whereas the Fan Toys version, it just plugs in in both modes. So they both have stands. Uh, I, I would argue that the Giga Power one's a little bit bigger, and a little more sturdy, whereas the fan size one's a little bit more sleek and kind of disappears on your shelf. So I don't know, they both they both serve the purpose. So what you're left with is, is this stuff here. So you get an extra set of wings for fans toys. If you don't like the chrome look, you can replace it with this, which is a more you know painted silver metallic. And we'll kind of trade that off with this here. You've got uh, extra sword, plus you've got the mounting piece so you can put it on the back of God enter. And basically you're left with an extra head here. And the head's pretty nicely painted. So I'm going to give accessories over to Giga Power, even though it's really close. I just think they have bigger, nicer, better, well-painted accessories compared to fans, to, uh, fans Toys. And they also have one extra. So Giga Power is going to win accessories. All right, next we're gonna talk about the cartoon accuracy on these two guys. So in order to do that, we'll put the G1 cartoon image there for your reference. And for me, when I look at these two, the Giga Power kind of takes a stylized approach to their bot. It still kind of hits the cartoon on spots, but the Fans Toys definitely has that more cartoon look. So just for example, the chest piece here is kind of angled up. It's got a lot of extra sculpt and detail, some gold here. You've got sculpted detail on the chest and on the hip pieces here. Returning to the side, you can see the same kind of thing down here. You've got that red, but then there's a whole bunch of silver and stripes, whereas Fanswood just has that classic red stripe down the side, which is accurate to the cartoon. Same on the arms. The arms have some extra detail and sculpt and paint on the Giga Power, whereas the Fans Toys is much more closer to the cartoon. So we're going to give cartoon accuracy over to Fans Toys. Uh, I guess I'll talk about the faces for a second. Both of them are kind of not quite right. They both look okay, but neither of them really nail the cartoon. Fans Toys has kind of a really big forehead, whereas the Giga Power has got that black 
outline around the face and that's not really in the cartoon so neither of them really hit the face but overall i think fans toys nails so we're going to give cartoon accuracy to fans toys okay next we're talking about the sculpt on these two and we kind of just talked about that when we went through cartoon accuracy but uh, very obviously and the giga power nail sculpt they've got sculpt work all over all throughout this figure every piece of it is sculpted i mean and then they add the paint which really makes the sculpting stand out so i'm not even going to waste any time here i think giga power is going to win on sculpt i just want to talk about the paint and in order to do that it's a little bit unfair here because we've got the chromed metallic version of giga power but the standard version of the fans toys there was a metallic version called the ft05x so i'm going to get an image of that i'll put that up here and just kind of cover up this figure although the paint is similar it definitely covered in more paint so when we look at these two you can kind of see the fans toys has basically a silver cover for the arms the legs and for the wings whereas the Giga Power has got more of a metallic look. The chest piece is still blue on the fans toys, although it's slightly more shiny, whereas the Giga Power is a really chromed out shiny metal uh, paint. Um, both have red paint here, shiny paint on the chest, but the Giga Power has got some extra sculpting and detail there that makes that paint stand out. Again, both have the wing detail, the painted wing. Now on the X version, it is painted silver instead of chrome, but it's still got the detail work there. Um, but overall, I'm going to say that I think Giga Power stands out a little bit more. While I do like the paint on the FT05X, although I've never held it in hand or seen it, I'm going to have to go by the picture. And at least for me, going by the picture, I believe the Giga Power has a better paint job overall. Next, we're going to talk about the build quality in these two. And this is an interesting topic here because the fans' toys had had quite a few build issues with it. And there's also some issues with the, even the joints. So a lot of the joints are just friction joints and they rely on tension with that screw. And over time, they get loose. So you end up having to tighten those screws again and again. Same for these ankles. The ankles are the biggest issue on this. The ankles tend to uh, give way and he tends to fall forward on those ankles. And that's an issue because he's got a nice big chrome piece here. So if it hits that, it's going to break. So you got to be very careful. And you end up trying to tighten these screws and, you know, really doesn't work out. I do have a replacement ankles coming from Fans Toys. But that is definitely a concern over time is having these parts get loose. On the Giga Power, you have really nice tight joints all throughout. And then there are some places on Giga Power that are actually ratcheted. So you actually have more hardware on the Giga Power than you do on the Fans Toys, just because they, they've used some extra ratchets um, on the arms, on the uh, shoulders, and on the elbows. So we're going to give build quality to Giga Power. I think they just gave you a lot more hardware and just a better quality overall. All right, next we're going to talk about the articulation of these figures. In order to do that, we have to go through the articulation for each. We're going to do that relatively quickly. See, Fans Toys is on a ball joint, so it rotates all the way around. And it's also on a hinge here, so you can get it looking downwards if you need to look at some smaller characters. Uh, you get uh, no side to side there. The shoulder rotates all the way around on this joint, friction, out to the side on friction. Rotation at the bicep, also friction, and then a double jointed elbow. It gets you up to there on friction, but it's a little bit loose. You have rotation at the wrist. You have fingers pinned in two places, and then the thumb is on a ball joint out to there. Uh, you can't splay the fingers out like you can on the Giga Power. Continuing down, you do have a rotation at the waist. You have to move this nose cone out of the way, but it does rotate there. You have a hip skirt here in the front and back. The leg goes up to there on a ratchet joint. Back to here but it can't get any further because of the sculpt. So I don't, that's very strange. The leg doesn't go any further back. And then goes out to the side on a friction joint. You can tighten this screw to make that stay a little bit better. I've had to tighten that over time. Rotation at the thigh. You have a double jointed knee. Now during my Giga Power review, I mentioned that the fan stretch doesn't have the piston. It actually does. You just have to bend the other joint first. So you kind of have to hold that top one and bend the bottom one. And it does have it, it's just a little bit smaller. And when you bend the full knee, then it, it kind of disappears. But it does have that. You have an ankle tilt out to there. And you have an ankle rocker, really nice rocker, unfortunately very loose. 
and you know has trouble supporting the weight of the figure. Going to the Giga Power, we do have the head also on a ball joint. You get a little bit of side to side, rotates all the way around, and you get that same hinge there that gets you down to look down since he's a big guy. You have rotation at the shoulder, but it's ratcheted this time. So it goes up to there, and it goes up to there on friction. Rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbow. You have the same rotation at the wrist. Double pinned fingers, but now this time they actually splay out from each other. So you can do more posing. And the thumb also has a ball joint plus a separate joint. So a lot more articulation on these hands and just well built with the pins there. You have rotation at the waist. You do have to move that nose cone out of the way, but you can get that rotation there. You have three hip skirts here that allow the legs to rotate up on a ratchet joint. So a nice tight ratchet in up to there, back to there, out to the side, rotation at the thigh. Single jointed knee, but it has that nice looking piston there. Rotation at the ankle, so ankle pivot and ankle tilt in both directions. So because of the extra articulation in the leg and also the extra ratchets, and we did give build over to Giga Power, but you know there are definitely more ratchets in the in the joints here. But because he's got a little bit more articulation in a couple of areas, including the hands, the legs, we're going to give articulation to Giga Power. All right, next we're going to talk about the transformation on these two. And when it comes to transformation, they're both really similar, and it's kind of a function of being swoop. <laughs> yeah, swoop tends to have, you know, a very simple transformation. So neither of them are complex or frustrating to transform. They both have parts that uh, you have to deal with. So I'm going to give them a tie for transformation. I think they both are just equally enjoyable. None of them are, are a pain in the butt or anything like that. You do have this thing with the legs here on fans toys where you got to get these locks in. Um, but you do have the same thing here on the Giga Power, a locking mechanism for the legs. So both of them have the same kind of stuff going on in terms of transformation. So we're going to give them a tie on transformation. When it comes to engineering, I think that Giga Power has nailed the engineering a little bit better. And the reason I say that is it stands up a lot better. It poses a little bit better. They've got uh, more hardware to give it better posing. Um, and that just makes it um, all the more attractive, right? There's, there's really good, it, it feels like they put in the work on the engineering. And even though the transformation is pretty much the same, it does feel a little bit more polished. So we're going to give engineering to Giga Power. So here they are in their alt modes. Their both wings are pretty wide, so they're hard to get to both in the shot. But I'm going to give you a close-up of both. So here's the Fans Toys version. Um, really nice head sculpt and just overall look on the head. But where Fans Toys kind of falls apart, one, these arms don't actually peg in. And they stick out pretty far. And then also these legs are kind of wonky. They look a little funny and, and it's it's... It does balance, you can balance it on it, but it just looks a little funny and it also, um, I don't know, the proportion's a little odd. He does kind of tend to fall down, so he's really meant to just be put in a flight pose and flying, you know, kind of like that on his flight stand, right? Not really good at standing. This guy stands a lot better. He's got these angles on his feet. Although if you put him all the way back, he tends to get too back heavy and then he falls backwards. So they both have issues standing up, but his legs definitely look a lot better. I think they're just more cohesive and more, they look like actual feet. And you can get the look, you know, with his feet backwards and him in a flight pose. So you get the same effect. Now again, he's got a little bit of uncleanliness on the back, but overall pretty clean. I like the way the arms get compressed in, although this chest seems to be popping open, but I like the way the arms compress in and sort of make his body a little bit more sleek and slim and just looks better overall as a pterodactyl. So I'm going to give the alt mode over to Giga Power. I think it just comes together a little bit better and it just overall looks and feels like swoop. The final factor here is the cost. So the Fans Toys FT05 comes in at $200 retail, originally priced. The Giga Power comes in at 225
So we're going to give cost over to Fans Toys. Now, with so final thoughts on this comparison. You can see the score there. Giga Power destroys Fans Toys in this comparison. I went back and looked because I was curious how many times did Giga Power actually won, at least in my comparisons. So the first comparison was Grinder and Super Tour. Grinder won that one. The second comparison was Sever and Gutter, and that was a tie. And then the third comparison was Scoria and Grasser, and Grasser won that one. So this will be the second win for Giga Power, whereas Fans Toys has one win and one tie. So really close sets, right? They both do really good things well, and it's really up to you. You know, what do you want in your collection? Do you want them bigger? Do you want them more stylized? Do you want them painted? Um, do you want them more cartoon accurate? Do you want, uh, you know, a set that kind of matches with the rest of your your set or do you want something that's unique and stands out on the shelf so it's really up to what you want in your dynabot set but hopefully i helped you with this review made your decision or helped you be comfortable with the decision you've already made that's really it for today thanks for watching and we'll see you next time